Matthew, last night was the first game. I don't know if I don't know if you knew this. I, I <laughs> but last night was Mallory f- actually told me on the track that it was the opening night of Texas High School. Boston. Weird. Yeah. Crazy. She let me know. And yeah. you guys were in Burleson. 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 Yeah. Elks. Watching Burleson. Correct me if I'm wrong. Take throttle it to uh-huh. our Abilene White. Yeah. We did. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty impressive. Uh, John Kitna's squad looked looked sharp. Uh, Dylan Rayola, the, the highly touted sophomore quarterback, who's also got who's already got some Division One offers. Uh, the son of former Detroit Lions center Dominic Rayola um, mm, looked really good. He's also a, st- a stud baseball player as well, but he can spin it at the quarterback spot. He he looks the part. He's really good. Burleson's got a solid team. They're going to be in the playoff mix. You know, obviously Alito is a team to beat in that district, so, but they'll be in the playoff mix. So last night, first of all, Mallory, did you have a good time? I did. I was kind of doing something different than what Steph mm-hmm. was doing. I was working activation. The Honda. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just going to stop of it Honda, working. No. Well. no. <laughs> Speaking huh. of Honda, yeah, Honda was out there, and I was making sure everything ran smoothly. I thought you were just like going to say. So. Mallory did a great job. I just was working. To, she did a great job with the activation. Her and Chandra did a good job um, with you. Honda and everything Appreciate that went with that. And – um. Here's how I phrased it last night. I quote tweeted you um, as like they went up like Burleson went up twenty eight nothing. I characterized Burleson as an agent of chaos in uh, Region Two in the sense that I don't think Burleson's probably going to win Region Two this year. Mm-mm. But I think they could ruin some seasons. I think they could up. I think they're going to be when they play to their mm-hmm. paper. They well, could be the kind of team that could up and nip somebody. And Kitna, Kitna's a he's a, he's got he, he he's a gambler. Yeah, he's a he's he's. For lack of a better term, wild ass. Yeah, they onside kicked the first four times. Yes, they opened, they opened the season with an onside kick and recovered. It. Agent mm-hmm. of they're just chaos. They're just gonna play, and they're just gonna they're they're just they're one of those teams that you probably hate to play because they've yes. got a great quarterback. They've got they're really dynamic offensively, and they take a lot of chances on special they're teams. Unpredictable. Yeah. So yeah. they're they're probably not gonna be a fun team to play, especially no. as an underdog when they really got nothing to right. lose. So I was home, and I um. Poured myself a little bit of a, a beverage, <laughs> and I kicked back and I enjoyed the broadcast on Texan Live mm-hmm. as the Carthage Bulldogs took on the Crosby Cougars in mm-hmm. a fabulous what a game. game. I, I had fabulous that game, game on on the tablet. Uh, on there was no Wi-Fi in the press box. First world problems. So my <laughs> uh, my phone as a hotspot was trying to keep up with the uh, computer and the tablet. The game, so I, I was it was buffering for me. But I got a chance to I was keeping up with it because uh, it. That that might be one of the most impressive wins that okay. Carthage has had in the past few so, years. So, and, and and here's the thing: you're probably thinking, like, what's the big deal? Like, Car- Carthage or Crosby was reloading, first game of the year. Why is it so impressive? Um, so Carthage was went down seventeen nothing in this mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Went down seventeen nothing. Ended up winning this game twenty seven twenty four. Um, came out like a house of fire in the second half. Looked really good. That defense is something serious. Yeah, they. They were down seventeen nothing with five turnovers. <laughs> they <laughs> they they put the ball on the ground. They could not stop turning the ball over. Five turnovers bad. in the first half. Yeah, it was it was it was bad bad bad. And I'm sure Scott Surratt was pulling his hair out. And give give uh, Crosby some credit. I thought that that Siren Miles he got a little bit nicked up late in the game, but I thought that quarterback was real solid. And this Cameron Kirkwood, their wide receiver. He's he's a dynamo man. Yeah, yeah. that kid can go. Car, uh, the, the, the Crosby number number forty, the defensive lineman, yes. uh, was really good. Crosby's got some rangy defensive backs who can cover a lot. They're gonna they're gonna be really good. They're gonna be really good. Uh, I thought the most important Carthage had several guys out yes. due to COVID protocols mm-hmm. also, and I think especially in the first half up front, I think they were missing three starters in the offensive line, mm. and I think they like were, it's a five AD two yeah. finalist, and they they um. Were down, I think they were started a third string run. I think their top two running backs were also out. So wow. they were not able to run the football no. at all last night. But they still almost doubled Crosby in yardage because Car- Carthage, that's the dynamics. The dynamics, they, they can, when you stop the run, they can throw it. Mm-hmm. And they, they, they relied on the pass and, and got it done. They so. cycled through two different quarterbacks. Yeah. Um, that Jacob Rockamore looked pretty solid. Um, Rockamore looked good. He put the ball on the ground yeah. a little too much. Mm-hmm. And I think that's when they went to cuff. And mm-hmm. I thought, I, I thought. The cuff or cup? I, I, I was trying to listen to uh, our friend Chase Snyder. I think it's Cuff. Okay. I would need if to it's up. not Cuff, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to your mom and dad, yeah, Mr. and see. Mrs. Cuff or Cup, I'm sorry. Let's see. Um, but they, they – Connor they were, Cuff, you got yeah, it. Yeah, so – In my face. I, I think Rockamore looked good. They moved mm-hmm. the ball when Rockamore was in mm-hmm. the game. He, they just turned the ball over. And then Cuff took care of the ball a little bit better. And that's why, you know, Coach Stratt, mm-hmm. I think, went with the hot hand. Mm-hmm. And um, they – but but you're, you're right. I mean, you talk about a gutty win. That because Crosby had him on the ropes, man. Seventeen nothing. You're down seventeen nothing to the defending five A Division two state runner up. Hi. 
I was testing it out. It doesn't look good. Sorry. Yeah, we'll <laughs> probably just do two one shots. Uh, but yeah, it, it it was. I watched that game almost stem to stern, and it was it was impressive. Yeah. I mean, and you saw. I mean, it's such a cliche, but hi. Um, that's heart of a champion stuff, man. That's like that's oh, like you're bringing out the real cliches. You there. know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay. That like is. That is gutty. That is like finding a way mm -hmm. uh, when you're not at your best and you're missing a lot of guys. Th I mean, this does not this does not change my opinion of Crosby. I think they're going to be really good again. Yep. I think that this solidifies my opinion of Carthage that they are mm -hmm. the team to beat in four A division. Do you think Carthage is going to stay number one in four eighty two next week? I am actually going <laughs> to drop them out of the top ten. <laughs> drop them out of the top ten. Number fourteen, Carthage. Yeah, um, yeah it was awfully impressive. Um, what anything else from Thursday night really stood out to you? I thought Yule's Trinity looked good. Mm -hmm. Ollie, Ollie, the Ollie Gordon experiment Jeez. at quarterback is going well. <laughs> uh, returns are good after the first week. Yes. Um, how about Geyer? That was a pretty dominant win over Hebron last night. I thought that was impressive. And Hebron, Hebron tends to, in my in my estimation, t Hebron tends to be pretty good out of the mm -hmm. gates mm -hmm. too. So like this is not one of those teams that there are teams that traditionally start slow. One team that always sp springs to mind that like they just get better as the season goes on is La Vega. Mm -hmm. Like La Vega would be the kind of thing that like if they were to look like off in week one, it'd be like that's just kind of what La Vega does. They're a build throughout the course of the year type team. Yeah. Hebron usually comes out looking pretty good. And so for, for Geyer to look like that, yeah. oh boy. Um, Atascacita, very impressive win Ooh, over yeah. Klein Collins, 48-7. to seven. Um, I'm not sure anyone was more impressive than College Station last night. Yeah. Ooh. That game – I mean, they were up forty-two Dude. to nothing in early second quarter on a six on a six A school. I don't. Hutto, who I don't think. I don't think Hutto's bad. No, I don't, I don't think Hutto's think bad. Hutto's man. a bad team at all. I think College Station's that good. That good. So they played that game at uh, the field, the Puffield, the Puffield in, in Puff Yeah, because Hutto Stadium is being remodeled. And uh, Flugerville ISD AD Todd Raymond texted me this morning and goes, "Man, College Station is the real deal." Yeah, mm -hmm. and we have them ranked third, and and they, I think they lived lived mm -hmm. up to that ranking. Uh, in the uh, in the you know to start and uh, I guess uh, I guess South Lake Carroll's yeah, got a quarterback. Yeah, I was going to mention that South Lake yeah. Carroll. Yeah, they have a quarterback. I so I need to go back. I DVR'd it. I need to go back and watch that game. I might do that because I'm a I'm the coolest guy, you know. <laughs> I might go back and do that this afternoon <laughs> while I'm like relaxing before doing yeah. the stuff on Valley. Um, but everything that I was hearing, I had uh, a friend of mine was at the game and she texted me and she goes, "Who's this running back for South Lake Carroll?" I'm like, "Oh, that's Owen Allen, and he's awesome." No offers yeah. either. No offers yet. I so. don't get it. Yeah. But but I, I there's I don't know I've given up on trying to project like yeah yeah offer who's gonna get offered because I'm like this kid's awesome you should let him play for your team yeah you yeah. know <laughs> uh but Owen Allen was great Caden Anderson it looked like he was real sharp did exactly what they asked him to do Especially, I thought early in the game to let him kind of grow into the game a little bit they um you know a lot of short stuff a lot, mm -hmm. lot of a lot of bubbles a lot of a lot of screen passes a lot of just you know quick outs just things to kind of get him in a rhythm. And I'll just say this, man. Like, I said it on the picks video, and I'm not here to toot my own horn, but toot, 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 toot. I told you the <laughs> South Lake Carroll defense is going to be mm -hmm. serious. Yeah. They had and a that good, defense good is, I mean, against against a Highland Park team that, yeah, they're reloading, and they're, they're figuring things out, but they're always reloading, right? And they just don't take a ton of regular season losses. Yeah. <laughs> Plain and yeah. simple. I mean, so, yes, South Lake Carroll is a 6A. We should be very clear. But I thought that the, the Carroll defense equated themselves very, very well. Very, very good. Um, how about um, Rio Hondo down in the Rio Grande Valley? Did not play football last year. Sat out all 2020 due mm -hmm. to the pandemic. 65 to nothing win. Great start for the How Bobcats and, and Rocky James's ball club. Shout out so to first, Rio Hondo. First game in almost two years. You know, early almost two years. And they uh, looking at our intern and early nominee for yeah. uh, team team to watch for next yeah. week. Maybe uh, I, I, I included them as possible coach of the week <laughs> candidate as well. So uh, we'll be fighting over that one. Anyway, yeah. um, you can find all the scores at texasfootball.com. Yes, scores. the scores are up on texasfootball.com. Yes. Slash scores. Yes, that so does work. Texasfootball.com. Slash scores is where you can find all the scores from last night. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.